Hello everyone, this is Grant Friedman, and today I am reviewing the new features of Photoshop CS5 or Brush Easy. And right now we're going to examine the new brushes um, with Photoshop CS5. And um, to get started here, I am just going to uh, select the brush palette here. And um, as you can see, the brush palette looks a little bit different here. Um, you have some new settings in here with some of the new brushes that come with um, Photoshop CS5. Um, but you also have this preset um, palette here as well. Um, now, as you can see here, we've got several new types of brushes here. And you can see we have a, a um, round uh, brush with a pointed tip. We've got a flat brush. We have a round brush. We have an angled brush. We have a um, fan brush. And each of these um, brushes behaves in a different way. And to get started here, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select one of our brushes here. And I'm going to adjust the size a little bit, just a little bit bigger here. As you can see, we've got this uh, strange looking brush here on the canvas here. And we'll just move this out a little quick. And I'm just going to make a quick swipe here. We're just going to see what happens here. And there you go. And this is... Um, this is an example of one of the brushes, of what one of the brushes looks like in Photoshop CS5. And so we're gonna, we're just gonna keep kind of going through here and just kind of keep showing you the different brushes here and how they work. And as you can see, each brush has different properties. It looks a little bit different. Um, and this is something that would have been a little bit difficult to do using CS5 or any of the other versions of Photoshop. Um, now if you what you you know there was a chance that you could create your own custom brush that looked like an actual real paintbrush, but it wouldn't quite be the same thing. Um, and so you know these brushes are, are, are pretty nice. And what you can do here is you have different settings here. So you know I can adjust the number of bristles and you see I'm adjusting them. It, um, it shows in the preview and just the length. Um, and the thickness. And one other thing to keep in mind too is you have, I'm sure you probably noticed in the top left hand corner there's that little um, bristle preview up there. Um, and that is going to demonstrate how this brush is, is actually um, interacting with the canvas. And so as I'm painting you can see it's changing different ways and um, which is pretty cool because it really allows you to interact with this canvas in a way that you really couldn't do before. And if you've got a pen tablet, um, you know, that should make it a lot easier. You don't have to forgive me because I do not have my pen tablet at the moment, so I'm using a mouse, so if my strokes look just a little wobbly, that is why. Um, so in addition to these new brush tips, um, uh, Photoshop also has a new type of brush. Um, which uh, which will actually allow you to mix your um, colors um, while you paint, which is pretty nice because before there was really no great way to uh, mix colors unless you use the smudge tool. And so um, to demonstrate that, I'm just going to enable um, this little um, these little red, green, and blue colors here that I have here. And I'm going to grab a bigger brush. Um, let's just um, mess around with this um, a little bit. Uh, bring this diff this down. Bring bring the thickness up. So it's kind of a wetter brush here. Um, play around. Give it some some more bristles here. Uh, shorten the length. And so, um, now what you can do now is um, is is actually mix your paints here. So, as I'm painting on on this color, you can see it's actually changing it. And when I push it through another color, I can actually go ahead and, and as you can see, it is mixing the paint, which is something that. Um, has not been very easy to do in other Photoshop versions. So um, this is pretty cool, and you know I'm 
um, I don't really call myself a digital painter, and actually I'm far from it, but I'm sure that this is a feature that you digital painters out there um, are really going to enjoy. And so that is it for my um, um, uh, review of Photoshop CS5's um, new brush features. I hope you have enjoyed it, and thanks a lot.